this is the last this is the last part of 2018 for you. This is from Applebee's. Very good. And you also notice we're on the Hornet plates. There we can tell. Got the dirt dauber illustration. Pretty cool. I'll get one more to see what it's. Mm. Very good. Well, friendly employees, friendly, happy employees as well. So, you know, happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs> LED Genesis Kitty Flarp. Kitty Flarp. <laughs> this is the LED Genesis and Brian's tour of the Jackson Inn. Yours truly, Snore Kitty from Montgomery County, Maryland. Now, I think <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> There's the Exceder. Doesn't Elise have this too? Ask her. I'm pretty sure she does. This is actually from the Kingsport Physicians Building, which I wrote. We're gonna set that up for you later. Mm -hmm. let's, let's see. This works. It is loud. If you want, you can film that. So that's in beige. Hello. Yeah, Moon Station. <laughs> Look at this, I got a Conrail Leslie Horn in here. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it works. Now, this is from Sears Roebuck, so that's an old one. When Sears was even still a thing. We'll see, we'll be seeing two of these today now. I'm going to let you explain to the front desk at the Behavioral Services Center what we're there to do. Because so I haven't been there in about three years. 16, 17, 18. Three and a half, actually. You want to film? I'm just looking. I love looking. Yeah. These fire extinguishers are out of the former Commonwealth Coach Trolley Museum building. That's a 94, you're a Buckeye and a 72 General. Now that one's still good to go while that one's empty. But this chime down here works. Oh, original Nintendo. Yeah. Good morning. Let's see. That Grinnell is 1896. Sprinklers. Yeah. Yeah, what? Magazines down here. That's Dover right there. Vandal resistant. I'm pretty sure that's not common button either. That's that's Montgomery up button. I got your that part you got came from here. That recognize that. Hello, Kone. From Denmark. That's from Heritage Elevators from Diesel Deucing. That's if you know what the Cathedral Learning in Pittsburgh was. That's from the service elevator there. Did you ever see it when they still had those? No, but my most viewed video came from the Cathedral of Learning, mm -hmm. which is very... I'm sure you know what the chassis system was, knowing the B&O. 
This sign. Is this Fulgore? No, but that's Gotham City. Of course, we know who lived in Gotham City. <laughs> I'm Batman. Sticks of memory. Yeah, sprinkler heads in here and the wrenches. What's this box here? It works. Let's see, do I've got. Yes, it is on. Let's see. Alright, come on, work. Well, now. Where's the work key? Where's Orky? Where's Orky? <laughs> I don't know. Probably in the car waiting for us. So there's Bulborb. <laughs> it's a Pikmin enthusiast. I used to play Pikmin when I was a kid also. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, that's the horn lever. Now I gotta get my keys. Let's see. Oh, just a thermostat. Nothing special. Whoa. Shut down. Railroad pajamas. Nice. Look at that. Oh, nice. I'm gonna have to wear those. Of course, I got my dot elevator shirt on under this. It's kind of hidden. Well, we're gonna head out here in a minute and go see some elevators. And we're meeting some friends up there, and I'm gonna have to make a few phone calls. We're riding in your car, right, sir? Yes. All right. Because I'm not familiar with your car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm most familiar. As you can see, I drew an exact picture of an SD40-2 EMD locomotive in the Conrail paint, which is pretty good. Smash Brothers. Norfolk Sovereign Operating Manuals, I got that from an NS employee, and that engine there was real. The steam one, it's a model of it, but that engine, in 1900 near Mississippi somewhere, hit the end of a stalled freight train killing the engineer Casey Jones, which is what that is named after. I'm gonna need this, because there's a chance we might see a train today. Snore Kitty here. We're gonna first time in Tennessee. Three cities area. Yeah. Hey, Moose. Good morning. I am with Brian right now. We're gonna see like three elevators in Kingsport, and then we'll head to Johnson City to get you. Okay. And we're going straight to the Behavioral Center, which has a 1957 Otis. Anyway, we'll go to cookout from there, because my friend is a vegetarian like you are, so what a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, I'll see you in a little bit, probably more like 12-ish, just because of what we're doing here. I'll see you, man. Take care. Bye. Watch me whip Nay Nay. Whip Nay Nay. Nay Nay Doocy. <laughs> All right, so now the lighting is finally normal on here. The green shirt. Speed table. <laughs> At least you like that sign for the speed table. <laughs> speed table. I go right over those with the car and scooter. Scooter flarp. I miss Taiwan because seeing everyone get around the city easily in a scooter. Yep. Hello, roundabout. <laughs> and we're gonna come up to this yield sign and stop. This one right in front of us gotta wait for any cars coming and we are good we're gonna go through here down that roundabout and pass that yellow sign on on through that sign there through that 
Watauga. And down the street. Yep. And here we are coming into downtown Kingsport. Now we got some crazy drivers here. That's not sure what that building used to be. But it's, it's a school building. Yeah. Okay, that guy just wittily went right in front of that car. That is crazy drivers. There's an old church over there. Anyhow, I'm gonna come up to the stop sign and stop. Now we'll go straight once we see that no one's coming. That has a Lexan in it, but it's probably closed for the day just because it's New Year's. Anyway, let's see here. I'm gonna come up to this yield sign. I'm gonna go around that and down that road past those two buildings there. But we gotta let these cars go. Oh, all right, let's go. No, no. Uh, uh, they're stopping for us so we can go. Here we come down there into wonderful downtown Kingsport and you can see the train tower down there. So I guess I will show you. This place is closed but there is an Otis in it. I wish it was open though. Paul Bellamy also closed and has been for several years. Anyway, once we stop here we go, and we are coming up here to that red building next to the white one, so we're going to have to stop here. Where do we want to? Going to stop here. That building has an old Otis, so could try the door. Anyway. There's mountain. Yeah, I worked a decent five hour shift yesterday. Anyway, I might give Terrell Weeper a call. He's another friend of mine down here. I'll let him know we're here. Beautiful. Yes, very. Early in mid-century. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was Alice and Combes. All right. We want to park. All right. I don't know if that's open. Sign is off, but certainly can give. Pull here. We're going to try door. I'm assuming lock. And there is a train going by. Down there through the CSX Kingsport Yard, which is NS controlled trackage. Probably Q693. No, actually, it's slowing down. Switching. Oh, look at that old car. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll leave it. Come on. Start filming. You going? Get the camera going.
Hold on. We are outside the former Montgomery Ward building. Come on in. Here's checks. We are going to go ride. Just wait until you see this building. Now we're taking one ride. Check it out. Yeah. Push the button. Down. There's a the basement. There's my friend's vending machines over there. It's right there. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. And to the basement we will go. Nicer, 50s, 60s era Otis. The road of the hell on the counts. Oh no! Apparently the light does the door. Go. Got it. What do you think of this? It has the roto dial on the outside. This is very smooth. Whoa. It says Otis. This is my friend John's property, so what do you think of his property? Nice or what, huh? Would you get a head out? Shout out to him for restoring this. What do you think of John's property? Going We're gonna film the arrow going out. Burn out. Go down to one. Push one. Wait for it. is super smooth. John, nice property. See the other one over here. If you look very carefully,
This is the 1938 Otis and it works. That's defunct, unfortunately. There's Wookout Mountain back there in the top of the ancient Clinchfield train tower from 1916. Pretty sure that's the year. Now if the city building is open, they got a 1961 Otis I could show you, but I don't know if it's open. Most city offices are closed on New Year's. Uh, that penthouse obviously was an old elevator, but they replaced it with a new one. In fact, I think I know what building that is. 220 building. See the radio station over there a little bit. It's got a 1929 freighter in there. I forget the brand of it. You can barely see over there the tower from where I work. Let me see. Three seventeen Shelby is closed, but they have a gated oat. They have a fifties Otis, and it's here. This has two doors in it. Yeah, these things smell. These are urinal cakes, if you even know what we're referring to. Urinator. <laughs> Urinator. We'll come out here. I guess we'll send it up and listen to it. Now we will go. <coughs> That's I got my rack. Here's where I work. There's the gas and go and a Brian right there. Got all your plushies down here. There's a hidden boy. <laughs> Lakes, Tennessee. And we're about to head to Johnson City to go pick up Moose and see Jonathan. Mm -hmm. I'll have about three and a half hours with them. Ooh. There's that old truck I always see. Fuel, We're gonna want what side's your tank on? Ooh, left. I know where. I know where to go. Here. And, and there's your Clinchfield tracks. They're blocked off over there, but we're going to get Moose now and we're gonna see some stuff with him. Now the regional medical center has some 70 zero Otis Lexans in it. I will be talking to Jonathan about that in fact. Let me just give them a call now. I know they got wooden doors. Something like that. And this is a set of elevators requested by Elise. Now the stuff I'm showing you is right onto Union Street. I assume that means here. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto West Stone Drive. You're going to want to be very careful on this road. Going to want to maintain speed. Going to want to maintain it carefully. Don't, you don't want to go too fast, man. We are 24 minutes away, just be very careful. Stuff and driving at the same time. 
our stay here and we will be to you in approximately 23 minutes. Channel 11, ABC Tri-Cities, Kings, is in the King Center. That's one place I want to show you, because it's got mid-rise elections. There's the East Tennessee Railroad crossing right there. Isn't Yummy. This is a short line railroad that seldomly runs, it just runs as needed. There's a Dairy Queen, I've been in there before. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto East Main Street. Ooh, park. Older truck. Take the next left onto Party Street, then you will arrive at your destination. After this, we're going to 1206 West State of Franklin Road, which is Cookout. Ooh. And I see his apartments up there. Now, I would guess this is it, but I don't know. Which is the address? I think that's it. We're gonna have to see if he's in there. Turn in. We're actually. Hold on, I don't know where he is. You've arrived. Hello. Can I get in the back of Brian? Mm -hmm. Actually, I can sit here. Um, let me hand you the phone, and I'll tell you his the thing. Put. Let me log you in. It is. How you doing, man? Look out. Good in you. <laughs> this is my friend Brian from Northern Virginia, right here. Who's about to get a full-time job. Mhm. Mm Next week. Want a whole kitty? Oh, kitty plush. And the orc. He likes you. <laughs> Orca. He wants his orca. He wants his orca. Mm -hmm. In here, and your general proximity rarely passes. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. We're meeting Jonathan at Cookout, by the way. Sweet. We're gonna see a few elevators now. Most of the stuff in Kingsport was closed. I got him on one. Well, two, actually. But we're gonna... Much better. We'll see a few such as the medical center, which has 70s Lexans in it. As you know, the medical center has to be open. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this guy's coming to my birthday party and with me to Oakdale, which will be fun. We all know Oakdale's a hot spot, don't we? You don't get bored there either. We'll have Cletus there again, and I guess you can dance for him if you want. He'd probably like that. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the camera for now. Boxcars in front of me. I'm with 
a f elevator filmer from elevator train filmer from Northern Virginia, my friend Moose. But what? Right. It's like the motto. So you want me to send you pictures, right? Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. So. All right. That's my friend Terrell. I'll contact him when we get back so we can see him. Terrell. Yes. Anyways. I can blow my train horn in downtown Bristol by the train station, so I guess that's cool. As long as I don't blow it too much. Nice little buildings over there. I like those box cars over there, that's pretty cool. Just past the tracks, that's an industry track for the Eastern Tennessee Railway, so not an official railroad. And back in the 70s, the tracks by the now up for sale train depot, former home of Tupelo Honey, that used to be the Clinchfield tracks, which have since been rerouted years ago. Industry tracks there, which probably aren't even in use anymore. Anyway, that's the King Center right there. That would be my first one for New Year's. And there's a fire truck right there. Former Tupelo Honey, which actually doesn't look quite abandoned. But that's your NS main line over there, which is only used by about seven trains a day, so not too much. It looks like they're renovating that over there. That's gonna be interesting to see when they get done. And no more freight elevator. Me and Moose have been here before on the track side where we saw that empty stack train known as the Bar Table Train 24J. Had that S78 on the front of it. Remember that a few years ago? And when you went in, you missed a pretty cool train. It had welded rail on it, it's hauling actual train rail. And because I chose to go in at 1.30, I missed another train, so that kind of stank. But I saw the last few cars, it was just looked like 15T, so nothing special. Just your basic manifest. Depending on the power, though, it could be good. Wow, that's the cat. Now, even Nashville, with, even Madison, Tennessee, or Nashville with the 42-23 day we see a sex freight, that's still good, too. And here we are. And I see Jonathan Sharp right in there. I will go in. Um, park. ATCS over. And Happy New Year's, everybody. been a pretty cool road trip. I just saw Andrew Reams last week and I saw in November him and a friend of mine from St. Louis, Missouri, which I'll be visiting in a few years. I'm going to see Jason sometime also. Yeah, I'm going to go in the Gateway Arch and several of the known elevators. I'm sure you know what the Barden Building or Oxford Building is, don't you? Mm -hmm. Or, oh, there's one I forgot the name of. Orky, I got an orky whale. <laughs> orky. Orky doocy. Moosey doocy. Mm. Brian doocy. Oh, there's the parking garage. Let's go meet Jonathan, guys. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Doing good. 
I'd like you to meet my elevator initiato, Brian from Northern Hi. Virginia. Hi, Brian. Hi, Miss. Oh, you a soft touch. Actually, it does have some feedback to it, though. That would probably be in 1999 to 2001. Yeah, somewhere around in there. You're you're right. Because this is. I've seen one of these at the UBS building in Kingsport. Yeah. Uh, they have them here, and they have them in the Millennium Center here. Which I is doubt, closed? I doubt, I doubt we could get in there. Um, but Guys, we, we could film this one. We can film this. I've got to get that waxing off. Yeah, in Johnson City, we'll get to it. I want But this one... I guess we can get in the elevator, but not film outside. Yeah, we can get inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like these industrial lights. Yeah, this building was built in about, I'd say about 2000. Okay, the elevator's here. Guys, Brian, it's here. There. Oh, these have bumpers, so this is definitely 90s. Uh, 90, 99. 99. This is definitely a 99. I mean, well, there's nobody here, so we can... Bumpers. Coming. Has oh, bumpers. Guys. A U.S. with bumpers. 1999 U.S. soft touch. I've seen one utter of these. I love the bumpers. Let's go to six. I'm going to try the bumper. It works. This is probably about a 90s era elevator. It's I think this building was built in either 1999 or 2000. I would bet 99. 99, 99, because they did have uh, 1999, 2000 uh, New Year's celebration on the floor we're going to. This still works. Yeah. Now, there's a pretty good view up here. Come on in. Oh, look. They're building a new building. They're building a new center for performing arts over there. Got a view of the tracks from there. Yeah, uh, the tracks are right behind you. And, and there's the city. There's the Carnegie. Yeah. Now, that building was built like two or three years later, and it has, uh, it has... Uh, I would assume the fire alarms here are not the originals. Uh, actually, they are. Ooh. Which are the... Let's see, where are... I don't see any up here. Smoke, except the smoke detector, and if this beeps... Then there's a train in the area. Okay, let's go back down the Let's go to one. Can we try the King Center before we go? Sure. Because those are good bake lights right there. They're 1928 with a 6869 controller mod okay. for Terry, property manager. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I did this. Yeah, this one, because I remember they had a Millennium ball drop. Uh, you know, when 1999 turned to 2000, on the floor we were just on. And they had fireworks and everything. Okay, here's your, you want to go down to one, briefly? Yeah. Okay, we'll go down to one. That still works. Here, hold it. I, I love these indicators, they're being replaced. This is mine. Uh, now this is kind of unique. This is the cul de sac for the Millennium Center. Close. Yeah, they're closed for winter break. Now they have the same type of elevators in there that the garage has. Yep. 
Now, the elevators are northerns in that building, but they're a little different. Yeah, my... What do they look like? They're, uh, they're actually pretty nice, but I doubt we could get it in there to film. Painted. And... Let me push it. Hey, Can you try to find a trash can first? They replaced the bumpers. Or no, they didn't. Look. Are those retractable? Yeah, they are. Hold on. Guys, come on. We're gonna do this quick. Hi. 1928 Otis's, 1968, 69. Controller fixture upgrades. Original back door. Hi. These are traction. Yep, I've been in the machine room. Really? Yep. Original 28 machines. See this line up right here? That's rare. I want to send this one down to get the other one. Okay. Come out. And... Let that one go. I'll get it. <laughs> Wait for me, because I'm gonna. Nope, they're locked. Okay. Here in the machine room. In fact, listen. Yeah, the generator's going. This is pretty nice, and this should be here in a minute. This one. We're fairly lucky. Okay. Uh, this one. And we have seen the floor button lights like this in an elevator in New Zealand? No. Okay, camera's off. I don't want to get arrested. Yes. And I have one of those in my collection. Yeah. I like these fixtures. There aren't many of these in the Tri Cities. We'll wait for them to come. That's a cool emergency thing. Yeah. There's your exit sign. Oh, wow. That simplex, I love that. Fresh fine. Now remember, they can see you, whatever you... Let's go to six. So I have to wait until we're in the elevators that are waxing. That just went down. A little bit. This... Is this an MRL? Yes. My dad's getting a Canton MRL. Oh, really? What, what building's he in? Oh, it's brand new. Okay, let's go out here. I want to get a view. Yeah. Wheel lock, AS, horn strobe. And I'll be buying one of these simplexes one day. Yeah. Just to have one. Now if security comes up to us, just... You wouldn't mind waiting for one more train with me, would you?
drinking fountain enthusiast. I know you're going to love this. We're going to the train tracks in a minute. <laughs> Orbs. All right. Here's some dancing, man. Huh? Hoping he comes back. Sure. See in there? Yep. Let's go down. It says Montgomery. Okay. Hold on. Tom? This is the other car, right? This is the first car. <laughs> we were in the second one before, right? This is four-way switch is MEC C504 of Snor Kitty Brian Rowald. And that'll turn it on again. <laughs> Just you do them individually. Do them individually. <laughs> anyway, we're checking out Kmart in the morning and then later on I go to work, but I'll show them a few elevators and then I'll be picked up by them and I guess. If you want to head out from Tennessee on Thursday, instead that'd be fine with me. I would totally not mind having you a second night. Ooh, that cool. Yes, but I am working now. If you want to peep in on me while working, like I'm there five hours, so maybe two of the hours of my shift you can just say hi or something after you get back from Bristol and all. But they have a deli there where you can get food and whatnot. I can keep you posted when I'll get my break and all. Ooh. I'm gonna have to clean my lens later we got woods and everything over there and this is actually my grandpa's planer so you know you can adjust it and plane all this different wood but I've done planing on mahogany and other types of woods but all this is added in a lot of this is added in such as the bathroom it never used to be here and I think these are tell me if this is preheat is that preheat is that preheat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff in here. This, I'll show you. It's like motor off something else, but it sucks the air in. Feels good. Pictures? Oh, you must be working on something. Old double barrel, but look at this. We'll play Sonk tonight for sure anyway. In the morning, the train, elevator, Kmart. Then we're gonna go right or um that way. Right.
the street is very busy. Got a bit of a high load on the CSX clinch field here. These are transformers. There's six of them right there. Older Conrail car. I'm not really sure where these are going, but if you guys could tell me, I would appreciate that. And we are near the Kingsport scale right there. That looks like an older seaboard era building. Possible clinch field. And there's, of course, Eastman in the background. That, there you go, that's your high load. Here's your vacant Kingsport Gorsicon. That's Kingsport Cycles right there where I actually got my moped from. And there's 1920s, 1970s era toilets in there. Anyway, that'll be it. I've got Brian snorkeling. We have a 1930 Shepherd elevator to ride. I'm sorry. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Rings the bell. Give me one moment. That's a bell for the operator. This used to be a furniture store. Now. Going. I got snore kitty here. Push the down button and hold it in until the car gets here. What do you think? You like this? And I'll get the door. John, I will show. That's the dock. We are not opening that. I have not been in this in two months. Guess you can get the gate. All right. See where it says U? That is up. U for up. Now go up or down? Up. It only goes. What do you think? This thing is immaculate. All right, guess I can show going down. All right, I'm going to show going down. Reminds me of 34 Elton Street in Rochester almost. You can close the gate quietly. Give the give the gate a go. Want to close it? Close it. How do you close it? You just pull that wooden gate down. Which one? Up there. It's all confusing. Carefully. All the way. And we will go down. John, Brian liked your elevator, and he likes your properties too, such as the professional building. And go say hi to Andrew and Jason, because they will love this elevator too. Well, we took them on it now. 
we're going to close the gate just as we found it. I look forward to seeing the Otis that I'm about to show you. And watch the door. It goes by itself. Well, almost. Very, very good find. Now, I guess we'll send it up before. There we go, that'll be it. Nice property, John. Look at this. Stairs. Nicely restored property. I'm gonna look over to see the Otis and Jason's video like this. Very cool. Let's go. Hell. Jackson is gonna show me in this elevator. King's bottom drive. And there's vintage standard toilets I'll show you too. Actually restored. There's like old doors out here. I'll hold the door and you can show. This CRT. Alright, watch the bumper. It's slow. Two, and I'll show you the bath fixtures. City building, by the way, they have a 1961 notice. There's the road in and out. It'll be very quiet. This urinal was replaced, but the one on the floor above us was not. We'll skip the urinal.
also the urinal. Let's go down the line. We'll go to the building across the street and that'll be up for Kingsport. Well, now we have one more. Is that lady nice? about a seven minute, seven or eight minute video right there. All right, I'll let you get your thing ready, Brian. Well, welcome. You ready, Brian? Yeah. All right. Welcome to 1961. Guess I'll let you push the up button. This thing does have a nice wooden cab. And you can tell this is... Now we're gonna go to B. I'll show you the button. Show. Which is very nice. Do you want to push it? Alright. Come. We're going to go down to one and I'm going to use the restroom and we'll be on our way to the Dover. Oh no, the public library. You'll bring your kitty on the library elevator for a reason. <laughs> Alright. And I'll show. Let it go down. We're gonna show the rotor dial. There it goes. There it goes. I'll be it. We're in the Kingsport Public Library. This used to be a post office, I think. Post, push the button. I think I remember this one. It had black buttons. We're going to go down. And like an indicator, you can see where that used to be. I'm going to go down. We have a cat. Meow. Meow. You can come out here. Come out here. Which button did you push? We're coming back down here. Now when you get out here, we're going to act silly with the plushies in front of Casey. I'm going to show the indicator. Thank you. 
two now. One. One. Here, there's your machine room behind you. Fire alarm. There's the elevator. Got your bathrooms right there. I guess I'll let you push that. Smoothest hydro you've ever heard. How's that for smooth? Phone box is open. I just press one, there's your man powered with, and that'll be it. This is nice, huh? What do you think? You like it? It's the new carpet. With Dover proprietary plant plate. Now, there it goes. Missing room's behind us. There's the man powered elevator. Dover, of course, and that'll be it. This store is not going to be around much longer. Want to walk to the back? Ryan's over there, and as you can see, stuff is just hey, Brian. That's your look through soon to be gone Kmart. <laughs>
best looking Kmart here before it closes. There's Snore Kitty, Brian Robold right there. Hello. Hi. Now, obviously. Stir fry open today? They were closed yesterday. Yeah, they're open today. Mm-hmm. But Elsie King, the point of brand factory, they're opening at 10 this morning apparently, so I'll visit them. Good deal. Yeah, you'll be right there, won't you? building with Snow Kitty Brian Rowald. I'm gonna ride this up and down and then I'll check. You can push the tube button in a minute. I don't think that indicator works anymore. one and now no one complaints um. yep and the Jackson Slater elevator rail not fan He's so cool. Whoa. There it goes.
I know we just came from the central building, which took a little longer than expected. There's State Street out there with, of course, Brian himself. We're bound to get I wonder if B's open. Wait, what? Okay, we're going to two, so stay on. Way to close. train. V19. Brian. You see the mezzanine and main level landings. I'm going to shine. We do it since I've done this for several years. That's the northeast 
level. Most successful film day in 2019 ever. So far this year, at least. I renovated this floor. Now I want to check out. this way. My first American pop out. Hear the chime. You want a chime sample? And press up. Uh, no. uh, let me refill. Just open on one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is an elevator in Bristol, Tennessee. Let's have the door open. We're gonna on State Street. Three. Yeah. 